So what is my thought about the Bigod T4 when I've been riding with the Bigod Master and why I think that the Bigod T4 will be the best seller of Bigod for 2022. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love ECs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the Bigod T4, but related with my experience riding with the Bigod Master, that is basically a small version of the Master and why I think that that wheel will be a much better wheel than the Master and why if I had to purchase one or the other, I will definitely buy the Bigod T4. You already know. I'm not a big fan of the Bigod Master and I will not buy it. I have already reviewed it and why this wheel is the wheel that I use less since I opened this channel four years ago. If you want to know a little bit more, definitely check that video. So we are already aware that the Bigot T4 has been having some issues. We hope that they will be able to sort them out and really soon having a good Bigot T4. They are going to have multiple issues that they are here, but we are going to talk about the difference and why I think that the Bigot T4 will be a better wheel than the Bigot Master. The first thing that we can talk about it is about the battery. In here on the Bigot Master, yes, you are going to get 2400 watts and it seems that is better than the T4 because it's just 1800 watts. But you need to consider that this wheel, it's a 134 volts and the Bigot T4 it's 100.8 volts. So it's an old technology. We are used to the 100 volts. And to be completely honest, I've been very happy with 100 volts. Here, definitely, when you try to ride, you feel that extra power and it's really, really cool. That is a big downside is that your battery is going to run super, super fast on this one. So that's something that you don't like. If you like to do long rides, remember, you are going to spend more battery with this one than with the Bigot T4. Another thing that I'm always concerned with my wheels is the front light because when the winter comes I need to ride in the dark and in here I have 7000 looms and on the T4 we are going to get 6000 looms. Is this light good? It's not bad. It's pointing the front and also a bit of the side something that I really like but I like that is a little bit brighter like it for example happens on the Venturan Abrams. Like I said before it should be the standard for front lights but the T4 is going to be weaker than this one. So something that I'm not so excited about. Motor on the Bigot T4 is 2,500 watts. And here we have 3,500 watts. So also when we come back to the situation of your battery, you are going to also spend more energy with the Master than with the T4. So if you want range, you are going to have a better experience with the T4 than with this one. Another thing that it's much better on the T4 than here, the height of your pedal. So these ones are 230 millimeters from the floor. If you go to the T4, you'll be between 150 to 230. So if you want to go off-road and you want to really be high because you have a lot of little rocks around you, definitely you will be better on the Bigot T4 than on this one. And obviously, if you go off-road having less weight, that's also a massive plus. And obviously, once again, related with battery is also a plus. But the T4 has something that I simply love it, that in the beginning, I have to say to you guys that I didn't get it. High speeds with small rims, and the rim that you'll find on the Bigot T4 is a 12 inch like for example it happens with the Emotion V12 and here you have a 14 inch so the big advantage that you have to have a smaller rim is obviously you will be able to have a bit more torque even if the T4 is not a torque version if you want they were saying that maybe it's coming out a torque version but I'm not a big fan to be honest because Bigod normally when they do torque versions of their wheels you have a lot of pedal dipping so definitely something that I don't like but I like smaller rims because they are much more agile so if you live in the city the T4 will be much more agile than the Master and like I said before if you want this wheel to be good enough to use in the city you definitely also need to change this tire because this knobby tire makes this wheel in my opinion too stable obviously if you are heavier rider is going to be easier for you to curve but for me with basically 70 75 kilos mm, it's definitely not the best the charger on the bigot t4 is a little bit slower than the charger 
for the Bigot Master, but it's nothing like a 5 amps, for example. I think that it should be 5 amps, for example, for the Bigot Master, but you'll find a 2.5 amps on the Bigot T4 and you'll find a 3 amps for the Bigot Master. When we talk about suspension, I have already said that I simply hate the suspension on the Master. So if you want a Bigot Master, I definitely recommend to upgrade the suspension that you have in here. And on the Bigot Master, you're going to have 80 millimeters like it happens on the Emotion V11 that many of you guys have complained about that suspension, but the sensation that you have with the Bigot Master is very similar to the Emotion V11. And if you jump to the Bigot T4 and if you like to go in the woods with your friends and stuff, you're going to have a suspension that is 100 mils. So it's going to be harder for you to reach the bottom of the suspension here. He's always beating up the bottom. Another thing that you can consider is also the weight of your wheel. And normally I say to everyone, if you want to buy a wheel, try to get a wheel that is around 40 to 45% of your weight. If it's above that, you already have to put more effort. It doesn't mean that you are not able to ride, but you need to put more effort to ride. You'll need a tire profile that is slimmer, so it's, it's a bit more nimble, it's more aggressive to compensate the weight of that wheel, if it makes sense. I'm a big fan of wheels below 35 kilos. I even said that for me, my optimal weight is around 32 kilos. But obviously, I also really like the Veteran Sherman, that really soon we'll get the Veteran Sherman Max. So if you want to see the Veteran Sherman Max on the channel, definitely subscribe, because really soon I'll be able to also do that review. If you want something that is more practical in the city, definitely weight it's important the big god t4 you're going to have 30 kilos so very very similar to the emotion v12 and it's incredible that just with one kilo extra you are going to have a suspension wheel and obviously if you go here you have 36 kilos six kilos it seems that is nothing but believe me when you have to walk around you have to go on a shop and you have to walk with it next to you six kilos you can feel it so another thing that we need to talk is about speed and obviously that depends where you live. If we are talking about the guys in the United States, they will say that when more speed, the better. Obviously in here, you are going to get up to 55 miles per hour. If you go to the Bigot T4, you're going to have around 45. So if speed is a concern for you, definitely the Bigot Master. But for me that I ride for a long period of time and for the environment where I ride, I normally ride between 42 to 44 miles per hour. That is my top speed depending on the wheels that I'm riding. And obviously if I jump to my Emotion V12 high torque, I have to drop to 37.5, something that annoys me a bit. Just to say that speed is definitely not something that I'm always searching more and more because I feel that above 44, 45 miles per hour, I don't feel comfortable, at least for now. Because also in the past, I used to say that 25 miles per hour is more than enough. The reality is that the technology evolves and it gets better. The speed that you are able to do with the Bigot T4 is more than enough for majority of you guys. Besides all the problems that we have already talked on the full review of the Bigot Master, and I have to say, obviously pointed out the waterproofing, it's definitely a big issue with Bigot at this point. Maybe with the EX30, that situation will be sorted. Definitely, if you want to ride in the rain like I normally do, don't buy any of these wheels. Also remember one thing, if you buy the Bigot C4, you need to upgrade those pedals. Those pedals are horrible. It's the original pedals that you could find on the Gotway MSP or the RS. They are horrible pedals. So definitely you need to upgrade. If you are in here, you have already honeycomb pedals, so definitely a plus. The Bigot T4 have a better backlight than you'll find on the Bigot Master. In the end of the day, which one I recommend, I think is quite noticeable which one it is, is the Bigot T4. It's a more nimble wheel, it's lighter, it fits better the environment where I am. So I'm not a guy that really just go on a straight line and drives in the middle of the cars all the time. I want a wheel that is responsive, that is fast enough and that is fun enough. For my environment, the Bigot Master is definitely not my wheel. If I change the tire, it already makes a massive difference and I'll enjoy much more this wheel. That's what I've done with the Bigot Hero. YouTuber, <laughs> Mad, M-A-D-P-A-C-K, Mad Pack. Mad, no, C-K, C-K. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Perfect. See you soon. Thank you so much. My name is Marco. This is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.